I'm so passionate. So passionate about feminism. Look me in the eye. I don't understand why people oppose this ideology. It's just a belief in equality. I mean, what's wrong with equality? For fuck's sakes, the dictionary says that feminism is for equality. So, why is it? Why is it that people just oppose feminism? I just don't understand. It just doesn't make any sense. I mean, what's wrong with you people? It's just a belief in equality. I'm so. I watch so many feminist videos on the internet. I mean, there are some people out there who say that feminism is not for equality, but they're wrong. They're completely wrong. It's just a belief in equality. I hope you understand that someday you'll be able to call yourself a feminist. Okay, bye. I have voices in my head. They counsel me. They understand. As you can tell, I was parroting someone. And I'm parroting this one girl who was so goddamn passionate about feminism. Now, this one doesn't have that many viewers, doesn't have that many subs. It's like picking on a little child. But you know what? I figured that I'd show you guys this video because, my God, it's just hilariously stupid. Hilariously over the top, you know, on how passionate this person is about feminism. You, you guys gotta take a look. And you know, normally I would, you know, sit down in my uh, fucking laptop, you know, um, post a picture of my hat on the internet like this. But you know, you guys, I want you guys to see my face. You know, my handsomely hairy face. Yeah, I'm growing this beard. I'm, I'm gonna let this beard grow. <laughs> Yeah, Harry Pride, motherfuckers. I'm going all out. I ain't shaving this beard. I'm proud to be Harry. Uh, so, let's just take a look at the video. Feminism. One of the most used words in the last few years. There seems to be this misconception about feminists that we all hate men, that we believe that women are better than men, and that is ridiculous. It doesn't make sense. See, the definition of feminism is the social, economic, and political equality between men and women. The belief in the idea that if we work together in harmony, we will be stronger, better, and faster. I am so passionate about this subject. God, you've seen so many feminist videos! You know? If you look at the word feminism on, on, on YouTube, you would see a bunch of people criticizing feminism. Seriously, type in the word feminism in your YouTube account, I mean, YouTube search page. The very first thing that's gonna pop up is Thunderfoot video on feminism. I guarantee it. Lots and lots of videos criticizing feminism. And you're so passionate to see Feminist videos, you know? I mean, for fuck's sakes! Are you really this blind to not look up any form of criticism against feminism at the very least? No, of course not. Because feminists have never, never address criticism. The very few people that do address criticism are not females, but mostly cisgender white males, also known as white knights. I read many articles and watched so many videos. I remember a few months ago watching this video and it highlighted the difficulty in implanting this idea of feminism in some parts of the world, in particular Asia. Between China and India, 
the 300,000 million missing girls. These girls haven't been kidnapped. They haven't been abducted. They've been murdered for merely being girls. And what is feminists going to do about it? Particularly nothing. And, you know, I'm just giving you the benefit of the doubt and saying that, yeah, 300 million girls disappear. I highly doubt it's that large. But, you know, what do I know? It's like, maybe, it's like 7 billion people on this planet. And 300 million seems to be a lot. Uh, but, really? What is feminists going to do about it? N particularly nothing. You know what feminists are focusing on today? Sexism in video games. Yeah, the, the so-called sexism in video games. Not to mention man-spreading. If you live in fucking New York, you would see a sign that says that men can't spread their fucking legs because it takes up too much space. Despite the fact that they forgot that men have balls. And you know what the major hypocrisy is? You, you know, I mean, not the major. You want to know the most hypocritical part about it? They're not saying things like, you know, about fat people, how they take up space. And they're not complaining when women place their bags on other seats. That's taking up space. But no, we have to worry about men basically spreading their fucking legs on the subway fucking station. That's what feminists are focusing on. In these parts of the world, when a baby girl is born, there are tears of sadness, and that terrifies me. It scares me so much that in the 21st century, when we are so connected by a tap or a swipe, this idea still belongs. The idea that a girl was inferior and worth less than a boy. I talked to some of the boys in my group about the inequalities they face and how difficult it is, and for them it was the idea of a real man. The idea that a boy or a man must be strong and muscly and any emotions he must feel he must not let them show because that's not what a real man does. For me it doesn't make sense, it's not fair. Of course you don't understand. It is basically your job not to understand. You look at articles of feminism, you look at videos of feminism and yet you do not look up any criticism of feminism. And you do not understand shit about how men work because you do not do any research whatsoever. You don't bother asking the right questions. The reason why us men are not as emotional as girls is not because we're taught not to be emotional. It's that us men are better at hiding our emotions than girls. We still feel happiness, we still feel sadness, we still feel anger, but we're better at hiding it. You get the picture. We're not overly emotional. No one likes an overly emotional person, not even a woman, and you should know that. But no, you fail to understand human nature, and that itself is completely horrifying. Doesn't make sense, it's not helping anyone. I know that if we work together in achieving feminism, we will be incredible. Our generation will be incredible, our generation will be amazing, and together we will be stronger, faster, and better if we believe in this. I can feel it! I can feel the feminism in my body! Oh, yeah. <laughs> you really want to know how to make your generation smarter, stronger, and faster? Get rid of feminism! Right now, feminism is pretty much hindering men. We're being dehumanized. Stop telling us that we're rapists by default, okay? We should teach both men not to rape and teach women not to get raped.
Thank you very much. I need you. And I need you now. Me? You, 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 you want me? You, you, you want me to come visit you and, you know, just... Because we, we, we can do that. You know, just me and you. Me. Help, help you. You need me. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll meet you at your house, you know? Um, be, be right back. 